I wanted to find out more about the process of IVF and what couples emotionally go through during this time, so I went to see a couple whose lives had been drastically changed by IVF. Hugo John Shoebridge, born on 16th of October 2016, was made through the process of IVF. Rebecca and Russell Shoebridge, father and mother of Hugo, have today allowed me to come and hear their story of the process that they went through. IVF can be a very happy experience for some, but also a very sad experience for others. In 2010, the percentage of IVF treatments that resulted in a live birth was 32.2% for women under 35, and only 1.9% for women aged over 44. After meeting Hugo and Rebecca at Granny's, Rebecca's mum's house, I then travelled to see the Shoebridge household. I sat down with the family to find out more about their past situation. Well, I'd actually heard about it through other people that I'd known who had gone through it themselves, but I didn't really know the process and what you have to go through as a couple. Um, but I had, I did know other people that had had IVF before. We were we were referred from our GP to another GP who was a uh, uh, an IVF specialist or a fertility specialist, and we were in the meeting with her for about five minutes, and then she she said, looked at our file and our situation and said, your best course of action is going to be IVF, um, and then she just started explaining exactly what that was, you know, mm. quite qu quite quickly. I always saw IVF as the last sort of chance. I, I, I assumed that maybe there'd be more steps we'd be able to take before we reached IVF. Mm. So I saw it as kind of a bit final and if it didn't work, then there wouldn't be any other options for us. Um, but also I saw it as the first sort of kind of glimpse of hope to actually starting a family, which we hadn't had leading yeah. up to that. So yeah, b before we could begin IVF treatment, they, they had to sort of check um, for all the possible causes of, in of infertility, unexplained as it was. So we'd been trying for two years and then, and then our GP um, started the process of tests for us. So we had indivi t tests individually for male, female infertility, um, blood tests and, and things. And we had um, quite a few scans to make scans. sure everything was working as it should, um, which it was, um, and they have to give you a diagnosis before they know which direction to send you in. So mm. our diagnosis was unexplained infertility. They, could ne they never found a reason why we weren't able to get pregnant naturally. Personally, for me, the most difficult part of IVF was um, the, the physical side effects. So having to, I had to inject myself um, daily, twice a day for two weeks. I say inject myself, Russ actually injected me. Um, but, and that, that, you're injecting yourselves with hormones twice a day and it, it really makes you really tired, it makes you really irritable, it makes you feel really unwell. Um, and there is no certainty that you're gonna get pregnant. We were given a 30% chance that it would work for us. So you're all, it's, that's always in the back of your mind. Um, so was the IVF process a success? It was. It was. Yeah, first time. Um, like like Becky said, there's only a. They only give you like a thirty percent chance. Um, but yeah, it was it was successful, and, and like like you said earlier, it's about a four week process, and then you take the pregnancy test, uh, and it was February thirteenth, which was a, a Sunday morning. <laughs> we'll, we'll cut that out. Um, and yeah, and then that was it. We were we we were we were pregnant, weren't we? And it was it was amazing. 